Thank you, Phil. I really enjoyed that weather. Whilst thousands of South African graduates endeavor in job searches, there are a few that ventured into a unique route uh, of transforming their own worlds. Now, I Listen Media is the name of a company founded by two young men who took it upon themselves to put bread and butter on their tables. Now, after obtaining their honor degrees, they officially registered the company. They are an audio-visual communications company that has creative and innovative business models based on media services to communicate concepts to the target market. Now, I'm joined by the heads-in-chief, Tumelo Semenya and uh, Tabo Sitati, Guys, thank you very much for joining me. You're welcome. You are obviously the heads in chief. You are the main guys. How did this idea come together? What was happening at the time, um, Tumelo, that you decided, Tabo, we've got to do something here? I think it, it all started <clears throat> when we first started um, at the film school. And the conversation was, I think there is something bigger than what we see. And there might just be a different way of approaching it. And we always change the plans. I think our plans change every year. Mm. We speak, we stay together, we're cousins. Mm. Um, so the conversations always evolve around how can we best interact with global markets and just be able to tell stories. So that passion grew. And from that, we, we thought, no, let's, let's try it. It's, if the parents are there to support, why not? Mm. Mm. So the decision then comes to start this business, but sometimes... A great talking game yeah. is easier than actually yeah. doing the work. Take me th through that process from, okay, we're now going to start a business. What are the first essential things that we need to put in place to make sure people know about us and that we have access to work opportunities? Yeah, I think, I think and as young people in South Africa, we, we, we can have a business. The, the main things that we need to do is to register the business. Uh, you have platforms like Facebook and all the other stuff where you can where, where you can get known. But business is actually trade. You can have a Facebook page and mm. everything, but if you don't have trade, then mm. it's, it's not really business. So we, we started off slowly, um, but we have a plan. Um, so about when um, this should when our business should actually pop out. So now we're still doing the groundwork properly, and then with time um, you will see it. How important is support? Because we, we 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 always encourage young people to start their own businesses to go into the entrepreneurship space. Yeah. And we do talk about support, I have to be fair, we do. Yeah. But I sometimes think that people don't know how to access that support. I think you, you need to find it within yourself to create a support system. Uh, that In your is, case, was your, part of it was your parents. Yes, and I think as well, you know, two is better than one. Yeah, um, okay. In this case, it, me having him around through, uh, throughout the whole journey at, at, at the institutional level, at the business level, helps a lot. That's the support system. I think the numbers game uh, does play a huge role in terms of support. And just that consistency within the self-belief, to have self-sufficient self -sufficient type of, of support system. Uh, that if some people cannot respond to it as yet because they mm. can't see what you see uh, with the idea that you have, rather mm. create a self-sufficient support system yeah. for yourself. Yeah. So let's talk about the role of partnerships because, I mean, your family, and that's the basis for it, but yeah. partnerships is a real thing. And partnerships, you know, like they say, the old adage is, contracts are not made for when things are going great, <laughs> it's when things are bad. Yeah, true. How do you manage a creative, professional uh, relationship that's divorced of family because I, I'm, you know it sometimes can be difficult because the waters get muddy. Yeah, no, I think I think when we started the business, I think every business needs three kinds of people. There's a pioneer, someone comes up with the idea. Second, who's the pioneer? <laughs> <laughs> who's the pioneer? <laughs> We're both pioneers. <laughs> okay, what's the other one? The, the second one is someone who can manage. Okay, manage. who's the manager? He's the manager. He's the manager. <laughs> uh, thirdly, you need someone who can grow it. Okay, so is that you? <laughs> It's both of us. Okay, yeah. So uh, if, if a business just has someone who just, most of us have ideas, but we can't manage the idea, we can't grow the idea. But if you can grow and can manage, but you don't have an idea, you have nothing to grow. So in this given case, being a family, I think it helps us a lot. Um, when things go sour, I think being family helps us even more, you know, that I know that I, he, he thinks this given way. So I know how to tackle yeah. him with this. With Who's this the cousin. better looking cousin? <laughs> <laughs> As you can see. <laughs> okay, so you registered this business. Talk to me about the market because, you know, it's quite easy to go into a space that is littered with other businesses. Where, where's your market at and how have you been able to differentiate yourself? 
I think um, we looked at the growing content of, of the desire for local content. Um, basically, before it, something can be global or international, it needs to be recognized locally. Mm. Um, a global story is a story that is a personal story. Mm. Um, so sometimes we, have, we make this mistake of trying to go global before you understand it yourself. Mm. So it's been the local market uh, in terms of um, what people can relate to. Um, what's, what are the conceptual relevances to the specific community, subculture, mm -hmm. and all those things. So the market is, is very much local for global impact. Sure. Quickly, where can people get hold of you? Um, people can get hold of us uh, on Facebook. Um, we are Alison Media on Facebook. And then, yeah, that's just it. And on the website, www.ilistenmedia.co.za. Okay. Yeah. Media. Yeah. Fantastic. Okay, that's Tomelo and Tabo. They're the uh, founders of I Listen Media. You can log on to the website to uh, find out more about these two amazing young people. And let's support their business. When I mean young, I don't mean in the pejorative sense. I just mean you're younger than me. Let's take an